YouTube, what's going on? Frogs Angels back with a fresh updated 2018 NFL mock draft. Had to update it. Had a recent one, but order is always changing. And I feel pretty good about this one. First eight picks. Of course, the Browns have the first overall pick. Who else would have it? I still got them taking quarterback from UCLA, Josh Rosen. My number one quarterback to draft as of now. Just a pick that makes sense. You know, they passed on a bunch of quarterbacks last year. Maybe they were thinking about the quarterbacks for this year when they were passing on those quarterbacks, even though we had a little bit of staff change over there. But got to like Josh Rosen. Got him going one. The Giants with the second pick. I still have them taking Sam Darnold, quarterback USC. Uh, not, I'm not really high on Sam Darnold. Yeah, he has a ton of potential. Needs a lot of work, though. But it could work out going to the Giants, maybe sitting behind Eli for a year or two. And then maybe the Giants getting back on top when he reaches his potential. But he needs some work. But overall, good quarterback. Colts with the third pick. I have him taking Saquon Barkley, running back Penn State. Uh, this... For this pick, it's probably just uh, too good to pass. That's why I kind of have him here. But they, they could use a running back. Definitely could use a running back. Frank Gore on his way out. Marlon Mack looks pretty solid. But really, the Colts need an offensive line. They need, a, they need a lot of things here. But maybe Barkley's too good to pass. Could help the team right away. Seems like running back is back in the NFL. It's, I mean, it's been a passing league. It still is a passing league. But there's running backs, young running backs that are turning teams around, helping the teams win games. So I think the running back position is definitely back, definitely a bigger factor than it was the last few years. So this could be a good pick. I'd say the Colts are a team to look out for trading back if they have this high of a pick because, again, they need some defense. They need a lot of offensive line. They could use a running back, and they could use receivers. So maybe they stay put, take the best player available like Barkley. Maybe they trade back a little bit, still get them, trade back a lot, get a ton of picks. Uh, definitely a team to keep an eye out for. Browns get the fourth pick as well as the first from the Texans. They kind of they kind of lucked out with Deshaun Watson getting hurt. I have them taking Minka Fitzpatrick safety from Alabama. Pair him with Jabril Peppers. That would be a good duo. Uh, Fitzpatrick, one of the best defensive players in college football. So this would be a solid pick here. Next pick is the Niners. Niners kind of dropping down in picks here because Garoppolo is giving them some wins. But I have them taking Cortland Sutton, wide receiver, SMU. I love Cortland Sutton. He's a freak. He's, he's just a prototype NFL receiver. I think, uh, you know, it is a little risky taking a guy like this, playing from playing at SMU, lack of production some games. I think that has to do with SMU, though. Um, I, I think he'll be a great receiver in the NFL. I think he needs the right team, though. Him and Garoppolo just makes sense to me. Between receivers and O-linemen, I don't really know the order they're going to come off the board in. Like It's, it's going to be very interesting to see how teams draft them, when it's too early to take them. Receivers haven't really been working out when they're taken early, but I think Sutton would be worth it. Bears with the sixth pick. A little bit of a surprising pick. I haven't taken Josh Jackson, corner from Iowa. I really like Josh Josh Jackson. I think uh, you know his, his stock is just just soaring. Maybe maybe the biggest riser so far out of the prospects. Just just has it all. Has the technique and get interceptions. Could. Just play lockdown if he wants to. Desmond King from Iowa last year, a uh, great corner too, similar to him, better prospect even. So even though the Bears need a receiver very badly, do they take one here? Is it worth one here? I like James Washington, but may struggle to transition to the NFL, kind of just a guy that goes and gets open, doesn't have exact routes. Uh, team's a little scared about that, his, his transition to the NFL routes. So maybe the Bears use it on a guy like this. Uh, on paper, the defensive backs don't look that good, but they're actually playing pretty decent. I know Mukamara, I think, only signed a one-year contract. So even with those the same guys in the roster, I think Josh Jackson's your number one corner day one. I think it would be a good pick. To the Bucks, pretty obvious pick, Bradley Chubb, defensive end or edge rusher from NC State. Uh, the Bucks are dead last in the league in sacks. I think there may be guys, players by themselves that have more sacks or the same amount of sacks as the – Buccaneers team does, maybe due to injuries, but it's still on the weaker side to say the least. I think this this pick just makes sense. Some people have Chubb as their one player in the draft, so it'd be a good pick. Bengals, I got them taking Baker Mayfield, quarterback Oklahoma. Maybe a little surprising. I would like to pick though. I think uh, I think Baker Mayfield's got it. He's my number three quarterback in the draft, 
And my quarterback rankings aren't the same as this mock draft, though, how they come off the board. I'd like to point that out. But uh, Baker Mayfield back with Joe Mixon. That could be something. I think Andy Dalton's on his way out. They try to trade A.J. McCarron. I think they, they thought they did trade A.J. McCarron. I think the Browns messed that up. So I think they could be on. They could be looking out for a quarterback. Could be Baker Mayfield. Broncos ninth pick. I haven't taken Josh Allen quarterback Wyoming. I'm not high on Josh Allen. I probably wouldn't take him in the first round. I wouldn't take him in the first round. Uh, decision making and poor games against good teams is what's keeping me from from having him as my top quarterback or anywhere near my top quarterback. But, you know, he does have potential. He does have his mechanics are there. He's got pro-style pro experience. He's got the arm. John Elway type of guy here, so I, I can see it happening. You know, a problem with the Broncos in, is that they, they're kind of in a situation where they, they need to win right now because their defense is still good, but it's on a decline. It's not just going to – it's not going to be as good when the quarter these young quarterbacks develop, especially like a guy like Josh Allen. So it's a tricky situation for the Broncos. I, I really think they need to target a quarterback in free agency, but as it sits now, obviously they don't have that quarterback, so they got to give them one here in these mock drafts. So Josh Allen, I can see it happening, but I look for them to target one in free agency so they can try to win now, which I think they're capable of. Jets, I've been taking Lamar Jackson, quarterback Louisville. Now, he is my number two quarterback in the draft as of now. Uh, just, he can throw. People say he can't throw. He can throw. And I think a team could just really build around him. They can they can change the game, really. And it's, it's going to be hard for teams to stop this. It's going to be hard for teams just to plan to stop it. So, it, it really could throw teams off guard. I think you need some weapons around him. Uh, which Louisville doesn't have, but I think the Jets are capable of getting that. Their defense is already built, so use this draft to, to take offense here. I really like Lamar Jackson. The only thing with him is his play style could cause injury, which it hasn't yet, so that's the good thing. Cardinals, they can take a number of things, but I haven't taken James Washington, wide receiver, Oklahoma State. I just I can just see James Washington on, on the Cardinals. Yeah, they have some good receiver depth. But maybe their better guys are on their way down. The decline, still playing at a high level. Larry Fitzgerald's in the Pro Bowl. But I just I like James Washington there. Um, I think he's worthy of even a better pick than this. I know some teams are probably worried about him. At Oklahoma State, offense a little different than the NFL. But I would like that pick. And who's next? The Raiders. Raiders, I have been taking Roquan Smith, linebacker, Georgia. Another guy that's probably worthy of a better pick than this. Between him and Minka Fitzpatrick, the best Hands down, best two players in college football this year. Bradley Chubb definitely up there too. But uh, Raiders could use a few things. Linebackers definitely one of them. This would be a solid pick. Redskins, Christian Wilkins, D lineman from Clemson. Uh, Redskins don't have a huge need anywhere, but they could use a lot of things. That probably sounds weird, but re really a team that's good if they're healthy. They were definitely not healthy this year. Could have been much better. Uh, interior D line or a guy that can play interior or D end. I, I, that's who I see Christian Wilkins as. I think it'll be a good pick. Dolphins, another team that don't really have a huge need anywhere. They do have a, such a certain quarterback situation going on there, but I think t they, I think they think Tannehill's their guy. Um, we'll see how that goes. They could use another offensive lineman, Orlando Brown, part of Baker Mayfield's success. I like him there. Chargers, Chargers fans may be a little bored with my mock drafts. I feel like I keep giving them Derwin James, safety from Florida State. I just see a fit. It really, somehow I just keep having him land here. So sorry to the fans there, but you would have to be happy with this pick. He's a very good player, and uh, I just I, I see a fit as well on top of him being a worthy of a better pick than this even, but this is just where he keeps landing for me. Uh, Packers are next. I haven't taken Quentin Nelson, offensive lineman, Notre Dame. Just makes sense to me. He's just, this is really close to a sure thing, a sure thing prospect. Could be a pro bowler, pro bowler right away. Um, Packers lost some off offensive line in free agency, a little beat up as well. Uh, this just makes sense to me. They could use some other things. Uh, could they take a quarterback? That That's something to look out for. You know, we, we didn't expect them to take one when they had Brett Favre. Aaron Rodgers, I think he'll be fine next year, but never know. On to the next eight picks, we got the Ravens taking Calvin Ridley, wide receiver, Alabama. 
I'm not super high on Calvin Ridley right now. I do like his route running, but lack of production scares me. Receivers with lack of production uh, really don't end, end up working out, but it's usually those speed guys that don't really have anything else. This is not the speed guy that doesn't have anything else. This guy can run routes. Uh, overall, good football player. Uh, in my opinion, maybe a little high just because he comes with the risk, but really it's probably the Alabama offense running quarterback that that really hurt Ridley here in my opinion but good player Ravens need a receiver to get their offense back on track could see this pick happening for sure Lions I haven't taken Denzel Ward corner Ohio State I think they need, need another number one corner with Darius Slay who's one of the best corners in football in my opinion I think Ward and Slay would be scary especially uh I feel like that's a big need to have two number they do have other corners that are pretty solid but I think it's a big need to have uh two number one corners in the NFC North against the Packers and the Vikings receivers, so this would be a huge upgrade. Seahawks, another corner off the board, Tavares McFadden, corner Florida State. Stock is down since last year, but I still think he's a first-round corner. Seahawks would turn him into a great corner, so they're definitely in the market for one now that uh, the defense a little beat up, I guess we should say. Cowboys, I got them going. Maurice Hurst, D lineman, Michigan, Cowboys could use quite a few things on defense. Could use a receiver, too. I like them getting Hurst here. Good player. Interior D-lineman is a need. And match him with Taco Charlton, possibly. Could be cool. Titans. Arden Key, edge rusher, LSU. Titans were a few weeks ago. They were, like, second to last in the NFL in team sacks. But they, they really stepped it up lately. But I still think they could use an edge rusher, especially a guy like Arden Key is a Probably a top ten talent, but as of now, since he, uh, you know, recently had a surgery, he was injured, lack of production this year due to the injury. I'd say uh, he, as of now, it looks like he may drop a little bit, but you know, come draft time, he may be back up there where he belongs. But this would be a great pick. Bills, I got them taking Connor Williams, offensive lineman, Texas. Like I said, offensive lineman. Don't know where the, when they're going to come off the board. Uh, it's a tricky one. It's going to be interesting to see where the offense line, how they come off the board, which order, when it's too early to take one. Connor Williams can go much earlier in this. Maybe the best player available for the Bills. I think they can use another offensive lineman too. And they got two picks here, so that could be good. Falcons, Clone Farrell, D lineman, Clemson. Another team that doesn't really have a huge need anywhere, but upgrade that pass rush, pass rush a little more uh, with Clone Clon Farrell, maybe the best player on the board at this point. Uh, back-to-back Clemson guys come off the board. Maybe another surprising one. I have the Saints taking Deion Kane, wide receiver from Clemson. Speed guy going to run the four threes, but I think he's NFL ready. Unlike some past speed receivers taken in the first round, I think he run routes very well. Knows how to get open. Uses that speed. I just think, you know, even though the Saints probably need other, they have other needs, mainly on defense. Deion Kane with the Saints just makes sense. It's, it's going to make this team very scary. With him being a threat downfield because of his speed, kind of opening things up for the running game, opening things up for that slip screen to Kamara on the opposite side of the field is Kane. And, I mean, he's not just a, a distraction either. He definitely can play. Definitely very good with the ball in his hands. It could be a scary Saints offense. Already scary, but it can be crazy with Deion Kane in there, in my opinion. Last eight picks. Malik Jefferson, linebacker from Texas, going to the Bills. Defense still playing pretty solid. Uh, between D-line and linebackers, and they're getting up there in age. Could use another guy for the future. This guy can also play right now, so I'd like that pick. Jags, another team with really no huge need. I think they can use another offensive lineman. I'm taking Mike McGlinchey, who you know I'm not as high on him as everybody else maybe. I think he may struggle in pass protection a little bit right off the bat, but could help the Jags out right away. Rams, again, another team that very balanced team. Don't have huge needs anywhere. Uh, maybe another pass rusher, maybe a number one receiver. They have good depth at receiver. But uh, I like Billy Price from Ohio State. Reminds me of Pat Elfline, who was Ohio State's guy last year, who looks like he may have, sh- maybe he should have been a first or second rounder. So I like Billy Price. Um, can come in there and play center or guard right away. John Sullivan playing solid, but getting up there in age. So he can help you out now or in the future. Rams are probably one of the better teams. Or the- one of the teams that really could do that could use could take a draft use a draft pick on a guy for the future because they're so balanced right now and they're going to continue to get better. 
Uh, Rams, I believe I had them taking Anthony Miller last mock draft. I have them taking him again. The wide receiver from Memphis can really do it all. The main thing I like is his route running, the ability to get open very fast. I like pairing that with Cam Newton, so that's why I have them taking him again. Rashawn Evans, linebacker, Alabama to the Steelers. The unfortunate injury of Ryan Shazier maybe puts the Steelers in some more linebacker. Uh, they, they need another linebacker, I should say. Rashawn Evans, a guy that, in my opinion, can play inside or maybe even outside. I think they can use him uh, right now. Vikings. Maybe have a weird pick here, kind of a weird pick. I'm taking tight end from Oklahoma, Mark Andrews. Uh, they have Kyle Rudolph, who's still playing at a high level. But I just see a fit here. I see Mark Andrews fitting that Pat Shermer offense if he still is the offense coordinator for next year. Maybe gets a head coaching job. I don't know. But they're trying to use – I mean, they use David Morgan, who's an excellent blocking tight end, but they try to use him in the passing game, which he's okay in. But – you know, they're, they're really trying. They really tried in, in free agency to get other tight end weapons. They have Blake Bell, another Oklahoma guy. Uh, you know, they're trying to use, they're trying to do some tricky things with tight ends that are, they're good, but they could get better. And obviously they think they need another one. So I think Mark Andrews with Kyle Rudolph would be just ridiculous. Just excellent red zone threats. So I like that pick there. Patriots, too good to pass. Uh, pick here, Harold Landry. Edge rusher for Boston College. Couldn't believe I still had him on the board. Shows that the first round talent in this draft is actually better than expected. Pretty good. Uh, Harold Landry would be just yeah, a no-brainer pick here for the Patriots. And the last pick in the first round, Martinez Rankin, offensive lineman, Mississippi State to the Eagles. Eagles, another team that don't really need, they don't have a huge need anywhere. Offensive line, pretty good. Maybe a little beat up. Jason Peters getting up there in age, so could use a future offensive lineman, could play right away. Makes sense to me, but again, yeah, there's a few teams that are pretty balanced, don't really have huge needs, so they can do this. So that'll do it for the updated first round mock. Thanks for watching. Please check out our Pick'ems video. We pick, we pick each game every week. We're going to continue to do that through the playoffs, playoff predictions, Super Bowl predictions, stuff like that. More mock draft, more NFL draft content coming. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.